that was awesome. We made history for Sussex County Community College, so everybody was so excited. I know um, Anna was excited about, um, she was just really into like getting the whole victory thing, you know. We were saying how we wanted a banner on the wall. Like, we were just really excited to make history, to be honest. It truly was an amazing feeling. I still really can't believe it. I don't think it's really sunk in yet. We worked so hard all season, and I think we truly deserved it. Kind of hard to put into words how we were feeling after Saturday because we were all just that excited, and the way that we won was just something that we never imagined, which I think added to the excitement that much more. We went into the game with so much heart and determination that we were definitely not going to walk away without winning that game. Um, it was something that we've wanted ever since I started here last year, and I can't believe that we finally made it. The odds were against us, really. 12 players is not really the, the, you know, the rule. <laughs> Uh, to really go into a championship game, especially at the region level, um, I was a little bit concerned. Um, some people said, yeah, it, it's good that uh, the championship game that, uh, you know, you tied them up. But to a certain extent, after we went for 90 minutes and beyond to the overtime, uh, tied, my hopes and my uh, the, the possibilities increased tremendously in our favor because I know Olivia and from uh, evaluating the Mercer's goalkeeper, there's no way they had to compare Olivia to her. Olivia's superior in her, in her you know, skills as a goalkeeper. Well trained, extremely, uh, extremely uh, versatile in her, in her reaction, okay, really good reflexes. So when I saw one of the penalties, oh my God, this is it, this is it. Sussex knew they would have a big challenge playing Mercer. They had beaten Mercer earlier in the year on their home field. And when the game went to PKs, it was nerve-wracking, but the Skylanders knew they would come through. That wasn't our ideal way to win. We would have loved to get in regulation, but it was kind of like a storybook ending for us. You know, we had all the faith in the world in Liv, and, and she pulled through, so it was, it was exciting. At practice the previous day, we were, you know, messing around doing penalty kicks and never in a million years did I think we thought that we were going to end up in that situation, but I think it almost helped us, you know, the previous day having fun with it because we just went in calm and Olivia made the amazing saves that we needed and we slotted in ours perfectly, so that was a perfect situation for us. And a big reason why the Skylanders came through, goalkeeper Olivia Bungie with two huge saves. It was so nerve-wracking and honestly I wouldn't have been able to go into it with a clear mind without my teammates. They talked me through it and calmed me down a little bit and I just had to do it for them and for myself, for my family and my coaches as well. Jillian Pullis has been the leading scorer on this team all year. She just was recognized as the number two player in Region 2 Division 1 and the Skylanders had several players make the old region team. I'm happy. I couldn't have done it without my team, obviously, and all the work that they put in. And I'm glad that I was able to be successful, not only for myself, but for my team and for my school. Sussex got to the final by knocking off CCM, their arch rival, right here on this field. They had lost to the Titans twice earlier in the season, but they came up with a big one nothing win to get to the final. We weren't losing. Bottom line, we knew we weren't losing. There was no way we were losing. We were getting the playoffs and we were making history. We weren't losing that game. That was another huge win for us. I think a lot of people pictured us as the underdog since we lost to them two previous times, but we completely had a white slate going into that game and we beat them, which CCM is always a huge game to win for us. And I think that just added to the excitement of playing Mercer that much more. That game was a big mental game for us as well. And I knew that we needed to win that game too. So I put everything that I had into that game and needed to get a clean sheet against them at least once. Playing them three times, it had to happen at least once before I left here. Winning a region championship is no easy task. Throw in the fact that they haven't been healthy all season and they have limited numbers and most times they've only been suiting up 12 for games. This is an incredible story and a great achievement for the Skylanders. Anna, Poppy, Brittany, we all had a lot of injuries and it brought us down. But I think just our, the support we have for each other really just helps us um, do well in every single game that we try. But um, it's, it's been good, you know. We, we play each other's positions well and, and we pull through it. We, we make do with what we have. I think it really comes down to 
true heart and determination and the will to win. I mean, there's always going to be injuries and it's going to happen. It's part of the game, but we all just adjusted to it and I think we did pretty well with what we had. That's always been a huge struggle for us throughout the season, the numbers, but, you know, most people look at it as, oh, they have 11 people, you know, this will be an easy game, but it's always worked for our advantage because they underestimate us and we always come out on top. And I think that just happens because of how close we are and how we never let these downfalls, you know, get in the way or as an excuse. It just makes us that work that much harder. Like I said, we have enough heart and determination to win the games. Sometimes we play with eight or nine, ten players. Um, we get through it. We have enough talent on this team to push through and to hold the teams. So sometimes it's not the best games, but we play with heart and it comes out in the end, the result that we want. Now the Skylanders will go down to Westchester Community College this weekend in Valhalla, New York to play in the district tournament. And if they win two games, they get a free trip to Florida down to Nationals. Anything can happen, and I'm, uh, I want to win. We're so proud to be representing Sussex County Community College. And I think this weekend we're going to do really well. We're going to go in. We can't go in too confident, but we're definitely going to do what we can and come away with a win, try and go to Florida. <laughs> I am so excited for this weekend. It's only two more games and we can be in Florida. We definitely aren't going in cocky, but we really want to just get this, this much farther and really make a name for ourselves. That will honestly be the best experience of my time here. Going to Florida with this team, this group of girls would be amazing. Be the best way to end my two years here in America.